last page and uh, since uh, since every DIF is say k minus one uh, and if k minus one is positive if k is one we have nothing to say but if a k is greater than one then k minus one is at least one we can apply the apply the same argument to this function I denoted by C. The value of C at t is DIF A plus T H. Okay? You will see that the P C is differentiable. P C point T is sigma. Ah, the same as this. The same as this. But uh, the summation index we cannot use i because i already fixed. Okay, therefore we use g. Uh, we use another symbol g from 1 to n dg. The function f is replaced by dif a plus th, then hg, right? So Our phi has second order derivative. So phi double prime t is um, i is 1. h i d d t d i f a plus t h. Okay? The derivative of phi is the derivative of this d i f. Uh, then multiply by hi. Uh, so the, 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 the red circle term is here. The derivative of the red circle term is here. But this is the phi prime. Okay, by the definition of phi. Uh, this circle term is exactly Pc. Okay, so by the uh, derivative formula for, for Pc prime t here, uh, we can see that this will the right hand side of our final result is hi then j is 1 uh, dj dif dj dif is nothing dj dif is nothing but maybe I will dj if uh, F has an argument, okay? So, <clears throat> so DJ, DIF is uh, DJIF A plus TH argument, HJ, okay? Uh, and then we can uh, uh, remove the uh, parentheses and then move the HI inside the summation to write our final result of the second order derivative of phi to write this as i j equal to 1 to n d j i f a plus t h h j h i ah. okay so if k <coughs> is not less than 3 uh, so that uh, so this function this function is say k minus 2 if k minus 2 is not zero, that is if, if k is greater than 2, we can apply the argument again, and uh, the problem uh, is converted to the computation of the derivative of this. Okay? And we have the set, a third order derivative of phi. So apply the same argument. Apply the same argument. Again, 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 and again. If L is not greater than K, then C L 
t uh, is uh, t j e j l f a plus t h h j e the j e component of h h j l the last term is h j l the summation is uh, taken from all j one every j runs from one to n okay so there this are uh, there are n n l term ah uh, n l term ah uh, we know that uh, f has an l parcel uh, l order uh, f has so many l order parcel derivative okay so in other words this summation is uh, run through all the uh, errors order uh, parcel derivative of f okay so this summation, I, I hope you, uh, I, I hope I have uh, explained clearly. Uh, you, 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 you take, you for every s errors or the derivative of f, uh, you have a term, and uh, all this need to, to sum together. Uh, so the sum together, the result is the errors or the derivative of our func uh, single variable function phi. So this uh, uh, this uh, some uh, this sigma is uh, an, uh, not necessary. Uh, o o of course, it is necessary, but uh, we don't like to write this, so we we can uh, remove this sigma. Uh, for example, let's go to the second order case. Uh, the phi double plane case is here. The result is here. Uh, we, uh, we 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 usually write this the the result without writing the sigma summation. Ah, we write uh, phi double prime t is d i j f a plus t h h i h j. Of course, you can also write f i j f a. Oh no, no f again. A plus t h h i h j. So the sigma, we omit the sigma. Sigma is omit. Ah, uh, omitting this sigma is the so-called Einstein summation convention. Ah, uh, great physicist Einstein summation convention. Uh, uh, using the science, the, 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 the convention says that repeated index are summed in their range. Repeated index uh, are implicitly summed over their range. So, for example, I, uh, our, this uh, free double plan is for I, the index i and j go from 1 to n. Uh, their range is 1, 2, 3, n. So, uh, so although in the final uh, expression, in this final expression, we have not write a sigma summation symbol, but the sum is uh, implicitly uh, uh, performed. Now, you need to sum for i from 1 to n, and from, for j from 1 to n. This is the Einstein summation convention. Uh, this will save us uh, for uh, write the so many sigma symbol. Okay. Similarly, for this uh, else order derivative, for this else order derivative, we can also apply the Einstein summation convention to write uh, to write C L T to be D J one J L F A plus T H hj1 hjl okay so this is the uh, expression of a higher order derivative of our phi 
using Einstein summation convention. So remember our result about this. Uh, our assumption is that omega is open uh, and the a, a plus h, the segment, is contained in omega. And the f is a function, ck function, in omega. And this l is not greater than k. Okay, so, and also this phi l, uh, phi t, the function phi t, uh, phi t is f a plus th. So, under this assumption, under this assumption, for the function phi t, which is defined in the interval, uh, 0, 1 interval, for this function phi defined on 0, 1 interval given by f a plus t, actually, the else order, once l is not greater than k, the else order derivative of phi is given by this, uh, uh, expression uh, using Einstein summation. Okay, so uh, having prepared the higher order derivative of phi, uh, we can uh, generalize the useful Taylor expansion to multivariable case. Uh, so this is the theorem. Taylor formula <laughs> let omega be open and the f is a ck function and the a a plus h the segment containing omega then there exists a c in the segment such that the value of f at a plus h is f a plus f i a h i plus f i g a h i h g plus and the plus k minus one f g one g k minus one at the point a h g one g k minus one plus k f g one g k k c the final term, the argument is C, is the intermediate point here. Okay. Uh, then, no. H G one, H G K. So this is the higher di dimensional Taylor expansion. Mm. Uh, it looks very complicated at first glance, but uh, uh, when you're familiar with the notation, uh, it looks very natural. Oh, sorry, I, I, I read, I have a mistake. Here, I have an H here. Uh, no. This I will modify. It. Not this. H, J, K minus 1. Okay, 